Good Monday morning. Do you ever think about how your actions affect the people around you? Do you ever think about how your actions may affect the community you live in? It's a rather unpopular view today, but we must remember God is truly in control. In Psalm 85, we see a recounting of God's favor for his people by bringing them back from captivity. But why were they in captivity? Much of the Old Testament is filled with the Israelites' obedience and disobedience over and over again. In times of sin and disobedience, God sent prophets to warn his people that as judgment for their sin, he would send other nations to conquer them. Finally, after years of their continual falling into sin, God sent the Babylonians and the Assyrians to conquer Israel, to carry off most of the people into captivity. In this psalm, the Lord has returned the Israelites to their own land. The psalmist here correctly knows that it is God alone who they must turn to for mercy and help. God loves his people, but he also uses punishment much as parents would do for their children. Parents punish their children not for reasons of anger, but because they're trying to direct their children in the right way to go. God is also not slack in giving us good things. Those good things don't always just mean money or possessions, but His holy presence, His footsteps giving us a pathway to follow. Pray today that you'd be aware of God's presence and make his footsteps your pathway and be sure to thank him for it. Oh God, you promise us a land flowing with milk and honey. Keep us from being tempted to trust in earthly possessions that will just fade away. For our eternal inheritance and security is found in knowing you, Jesus Christ, our Savior and King. Lord, thank you for extending mercy to us. We're sinful creatures and we deserve your wrath. But in grace, you have turned from the fierceness of your anger and you have had pity upon us. You deserve all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Lord, you despise sin and you punish evil, but you will revive and restore your people. Your people will rejoice in your holy name. God, may we rest in your sovereign plans. For you are in control of our destiny. Heavenly Father, you are a compassionate and gracious God. You are a God that speaks directly to us. You have granted salvation and redemption to those who fear your name. We know, Lord, that fear is the beginning of wisdom. To know your glory and your power enables us to see our sin and our unrighteousness. Your glory gives us a clearer picture of our need for your mercy. How grateful we are that righteousness and peace have kissed each other. You have imputed righteousness to us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Praise be to your holy name. When we trust in you, we, we will produce a fertile land. Your Holy Spirit empowers us to live a holy life. Thank you for giving us a clear path to follow in your footsteps. We rejoice in you, our God, and thank you for your grace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.